Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. So today we are in Colorado for the cleaning up challenge which entails eliminating Sean Rose by drowning him in a very specific water basin. So for this challenge we will be starting all of these challenges in Colorado undercover by the greenhouse and the only thing we'll be bringing with us which we don't actually need will be a silenced pistol. Everything else is available on the map. So let's get reacquainted with our target. Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. So, right from the start here in our blending spot, you will notice I've already taken out our three other targets. So we will be focusing on Sean Rose. So what we're going to do is make our way to the removals vans where we will find an elite soldier outfit now we need to change and move very very quickly before we're spotted but once we have the elite soldier outfit uh, we should uh, then make our way to the shed here now I should have mentioned this right at the start uh, when you start in this location you won't have a gun on your back so you will need to grab one from the munitions just behind you at the start because we're going to take a gun and place it on the floor there just by the corner of the shed and eventually the guard outside the shed will spot that and take it away and when he does we can then trip the fuse box on the wall which will distract the enforcer inside the shed and we are coming here for a very particular reason there are a, a number of useful items in this shed but the item in question today will be on the shelf on the wall opposite us and that is the hallucinogenic drugs on the right hand side of the shelf not the nitroglycerin which is on the left so once we have that we can exit the shed and we're going to make our way around to this shed actually on the house property and if we've got time we're going to press ourselves up behind this old desk here and we're just going to wait for the enforcer leaning on the other side of the desk to vacate the area and then we're going to use our hallucinogens on some cigarettes on the little round table that the enforcer has just left so once he's a safe distance away we're going to approach the table and poison the cigarettes now that Sean Rose will come and smoke from this pack of cigarettes if we annoy him enough uh, Sean Rose has OCD so everything must be nice and neat and tidy so we're gonna make our way around to the side of the house and in through the window here this is all just to avoid enforcers and cameras and we're gonna make our way into the building now at this point Sean Rose for me is in the building and I do actually run a quick attempt to see if I can do this with him in the building but I do abandon this attempt so just wait in the room where you ducked in through the window if Sean Rose is on the property and wait for him to leave so at this point I've abandoned the, the idea I'm gonna make my way back downstairs and we're gonna wait out Sean Rose if Sean Rose is not present then you can go right on ahead uh, you may wish to grab Sean Rose's room key but if Sean Rose isn't present the room should not be locked uh, the key is in the kitchen or the map room or the command center but we don't need the key as I said the door should be unlocked I think it's only locked when Rose is there so we're going to make our way upstairs and around to Sean Rose's bathroom, avoiding the patrolling enforcer, who I momentarily forgot about. And here we are going to upset 
three items of uh, Sean Roses. So we've turned off the hot water in the bathroom. That's going to annoy him. And we only need to do two of these three items. But I'm going to show you all three anyway. So once the guard has gone over to the window on the left, we can approach the desk in the study and mess up Sean Rose's nice, neat pencils. That is enough to get Sean Rose irate and go and smoke a cigarette laced with hallucinogens. But we're going to go the extra mile and make our way back down the stairs and on our way out we're going to tamper with the grandfather clock as well and as you can see sean rose is making his way back here once you've tampered with the second item sean rose will make his way back to the farmhouse in the meantime we are going to make our way back to the shed at the back of the property now this is the water basin in question so what we're going to do here, Sean Rose will spot the grandfather clock, that will upset him, but not enough to break his routine. And when he goes up to his room, he will then uh, spot the pencils that we have messed about, and that will be enough to send him irate. If you haven't done the grandfather clock, then he will then move on from the pencils to the bathroom and discover there's no hot water which will have the same effect as you're seeing now so basically we've just triggered sean rose's ocd and eventually when he does actually start moving again he will make his way directly out to this area and he will use one of the hallucinogenic laced uh, cigarettes he will then basically go on a wild ride and make his way into the shed where there is a water basin awaiting his arrival. So here is Sean Rose now. He's going to partake in that hallucinogenic cigarette. And then he's going to start seeing some really weird stuff. What is happening? This is, this is, this is bad. I'm, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, jeez, I'm covered. Oh, oh, I'm covered in all, oh, God, oh, God, they're, they're everywhere. Oh, get them off, get, get, get them off. Oh, jeez, jeez, no, I'm clean, I'm unclean i gotta get i gotta get it off so once rose wor runs into the shed we can follow him in close the door behind us and drown him in the basin sean rose confirmed down nicely done 47 so we're going to make our way out of the window and we're going to run around the perimeter crouching as we go because there is one enforcer and we're going to leave Sean Rose there that was an accident kill and we're going to head for the bridge exit. So there we go the cleaning up challenge I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.